Hello, this is Peter Galante again with Cassandra Coop, and we're going to be looking at the color uh, assignment for photo 130. What you're looking at right now is a photo by National Geographic photographer Steve McCurry, and it is of the um, Holi Festival in India, and um, this is a really good example of color as it tells the narrative. Um, so when we're talking about shooting pictures where color is part of the story, we're not talking about pictures that are colorful, but how color is critical to understanding the story. So if we go to the next image here, we've made a grayscale image of it, and you can see that you no longer have an understanding of what is going on. These guys now just look like they're dusty, dirty, maybe miners or something, as opposed to religious men. Uh, we're going to go to the next image, and here's another very good example from that festival of the subtlety of color and how it tells the story. Um, and I, th I think this is just a magnificent image because when we make it grayscale, you can see that we absolutely lose the understanding of the image. We just see these guys. Now, again, they're just sort of dusty guys. They could be, you know, people working on the side of the road, and they're just dirty. So it really is important that the color tells the story, not just be colorful. Let's go to the next image. Now we're looking at a photo uh, by Pete Turner, and I don't really uh, encourage you to do this kind of a photograph. Now this is very colorful, but Pete Turner has done a really great job with, uh, I think these are chalk or pastels, and they, you know, the way he's lit them and lined them up in the rainbow fashion, they look very simple and graphic and lovely. So I'm really recommending you don't lay out colored pencils and, and that sort of stuff because it becomes very cliche. Uh, but this one works, and if you're going to go this direction, it really has to be good for it to work. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now this one is another Pete Turner, and I think it's, it's really... Uh, interesting in the sense that it's almost like primary colors. It's incredibly graphically simple. You know, the blue sky and then the garbage can. But the way he's put this together, uh, you can look at the way the garbage can lines up with the horizon. And, you know, it's very simple and kind of, you know, almost an abstract expressionist painting. So I think that's another interesting way. Uh, let's go to the next one. Again, Pete Turner. I think this is a fabulous photograph. Um, you know, it's obviously an umbrella. There's two colored panels that you're seeing, the red and the blue. And then there's reflection of like green and yellow in the, uh, in the support structure. I'm not sure um, how to describe what that stuff is, but you see these wonderful reflections. And if we make this grayscale, again, you, just, you would lose all of the, the point of the picture. It would just be sort of graphic. That red and the blue and the other colors really are, are part of the charm of the image. Now this is a student example of using color. Uh, so this was from our, our, our previous Photo 130 class. And I think that this one here, the color is again part of that, that narrative, you know, that those, uh, those roadside motels and, and, and what that sort of means. It, it really, you know, makes that uh, very interesting. If we make it grayscale, you know, we still see the no vacancy, but we don't, we don't have that real weird you know, film noir, you know, uh, Hollywood kind of feel. Let's go to the next. Now here's a much subtler use of color to tell the story where you have these dried roses and one that's still alive uh, and it has that kind of interesting juxtaposition. So it doesn't have to be brightly colored to be about color. If you make this grayscale, we wouldn't see the difference between the dried roses and the um, the, 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 the new rows, okay? Again, another student example. Very simple graphic image. It would be equally graphic uh, in um, black and white, but this really, you know, gives you that strange, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on the beach boardwalk kind of feeling. Um, so that's a very interesting part of the story that you lose in grayscale. Let's go to the next. Again, a student example where the color is really quirky and weird and uh, it also exhibits the design principle of balance as did the the one uh, before that Let's go to the next 
Okay, here's another student example uh, with that one brick where the paint is, is flaked off. Uh, it's a very, very graphic and simple, and then it exhibits the, the design principle of emphasis. Uh, here's a, a person who obviously uh, took a tongue-in-cheek approach to the garbage can picture that I showed you before because I'd showed that in a previous class and here they are with uh, doing the same uh, sort of thing it's it's got repetition here and emphasis and it's got a real sense of humor if we make this grayscale I, I think it's still interesting but the red and the blue pants is uh, is really kind of funny real humorous I think that's it for this so I want to reiterate that when you do these images, uh, remember we're not looking for colorful, we're looking for when we convert it to grayscale, that it, we lose the, the meaning. I think the Steve McCurry examples are really excellent. And uh, I want to you know, recommend to everybody, make sure when you upload your pictures, you put your full name and the assignment is called color. That's it, don't, don't change the name. And when you critique these images, I want to make sure that you guys look at the metadata so that uh, you see that it's not shot on auto and that the ISO and the apertures make sense. And, uh, and, and you, have to, you have to check that out. So don't assume that people are doing it. And if, and if it's shot on auto, it's completely unacceptable. It's not partially acceptable. It's completely unacceptable. Thank you very much, and we're going to do our next video. It's going to, we're going to be talking about the grayscale.